An eight year old Bemidji area boy is continuing to recover after a sailboat accident that killed his two younger brothers. Lacey Montelion has more on just one of the ways people in the community are working to help the Rislin family. For the Rislin family, there is a lot to do. Most people don't expect to bury their children. Benefits like this one are still being planned for the Rislin family, who lost six year old Zachariah and two year old Jacob. Eight-year-old Isaiah is still recovering in a Minneapolis hospital. They've stepped down how much care he needs, but he is still critical. And for now, he still does not know about his two little brothers. They are concerned that crushing him with this news could make him go backwards in his progress. For the family, that means having to look cheerful whenever they are in the room with Isaiah. But Sarah says it's easier to stay happy when you're watching all his progress. You know, there's a milestone every few hours. Besides the silent auction, the benefit today also includes an open auction. The open auction includes everything from paintings and a bicycle to jewelry. But the thing that stands out the most is the number of people who showed up. I think it is absolutely wonderful, the community support that we have gotten. And support has shown itself in many ways. There have been people sending in well wishes from all over the country and all over the world. The family says it is still going to take time. We have good days and we have bad days. But days like Saturday show how much people care. Lacey Montelion, Lakeland News. And another benefit is planned early next month at the Country Faith Church in Clearbrook. Donations can also be made at any Wells Fargo Bank. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.